Hello everyone. My name is Paul Chihara. I am a composer and I'm very, very happy to be here in this wonderful city with a terrific orchestra and a great conductor and most of all with a wonderful world famous young violist who happens to be a good friend of mine. Speaking about myself, I was born in Seattle, Washington, as was Richard, but my parents had come from Japan, not from Tokyo, but from southern Japan, Wakayama, which is an area in which people grow rice. So they were rice farmers for thousands of years. And they came to America to make money because it was very, very hard times in Japan in the early 20th century. And they worked and sent money back to their family. I grew up listening to the radio. There was no television, believe it or not, and no cell phones, and no computers in those days. All we had was the radio. So everybody listened to the radio and all together. So I heard two cultures as I was growing up. I heard a great deal of Japanese because most of the people there had just come from Japan. And then the radio, we only heard English and mostly popular songs. So my background as a child, and it deeply affected my imagination, is a world in which music meant everything to us and to everybody else. The war was a terrible thing for everybody in all countries. Winners and losers suffered greatly, as you all know. But music was for everybody in every country. It was an escape and a very healing activity. So I knew from the very beginning I wanted to be a musician. So meeting Richard later in life, Richard had a very difficult childhood also, also because of war, also being considered an alien, even though he was an American citizen, as indeed I was. So somehow we felt comfortable with each other. And we've done other performances in New York, recordings and so forth. And we felt a sort of spiritual friendship from the very beginning. And that is all in this concerto I wrote for him. Every time I write a concerto, which isn't very often, I write it for the person who commissioned it to me. I'm not writing it for posterity. This concerto is very much the story of Richard. In fact, I have a subtitle for this. The name of this piece is Portrait of the Artist as a Young Warrior. I see him as a very heroic young man dealing with life in his own personal way. As you know, we are now in the middle of a terrible invasion and a war, Ukraine, Russia, and so forth. Richard and I know what it is to live in a world in which there is violence, people among people, people among people, their own people fighting. and. In 1950, that was just five years after the Second World War, where people still hated the Japanese in America, all of a sudden a new war began when North Korea invaded South Korea, just as Russia has just invaded the Ukraine. They were the same people fighting each other for political reasons. I mention this because all of a sudden the world, for us Japanese, changed. All of a sudden we became good Asians in the eyes of the other American citizens. I mention this because I've always been involved with the conflict of war in nations. During the Korean War, I joined a USO troop. That is USO, you know, Bob Hope. They did these sh shows with Hollywood personalities to entertain the American soldiers who were fighting in a foreign country. So I entertained American soldiers who were fighting in Korea. And I was very young. I was only 13. And most of the soldiers were between the ages of 22 and 26, the same age as my students now at NYU or at UCLA. Isn't that interesting? And yet music meant everything to them. And that's what it always has meant to me. When we performed, when we came out on stage, all of a sudden they were not G.I. Joe. They were Henry Smith or somebody from California or from Texas or from Brooklyn. And they remembered their girlfriends and their families. It makes me cry when I think about how it moving our performances were to those kids, because they were kids, right? And now we're, the same thing is happening in Russia, and I can really identify with the people there who are going through this and somehow trying to survive and maintain their own identity. And I try to find that, I try to put that into the concerto that is an attempt, and I think a successful one, to come to terms with the hostile world and find reconciliation that is not based on bitterness or hatred. This piece means a great deal to both Richard and to me, and I hope that everybody has a chance to enjoy it because the piece is very positive. Even though it really is set 
in a world in which there is conflict and violence, the peace itself is very, very forgiving and reconciliation. It is a combination of Korean and American, of Richard and me, it is very much the music that says the world is okay. It's not an angry piece and I would love for you all to hear it. <laughs>